Welcome and thanks for watching. In today's short video, we'll explore four ways to improve your Canvas discussions with Harmonize. Whether it's the endless scrolling through long text-based threaded discussions, a lack of substance and originality in student posts and comments, or students waiting until the very last minute to participate, many online discussions today are falling short, leading students to feel disengaged and isolated. And instructors creating and grading those discussions may feel frustrated at all the work they're putting into discussions that never really take off. But good news, that's where Harmonize comes in. Harmonize is a suite of discussion and collaboration tools that integrate seamlessly within Canvas and offer a social media-like interface, turnkey integration with plagiarism detection tools like Turnitin, a streamlined or automated grading experience for instructors, as well as a powerful dashboard to measure student engagement. Hundreds of Canvas instructors are seeing great results using Harmonize, with dramatic increases in discussion comments and deeper levels of student engagement, it's easy to understand why so many instructors are so satisfied with Harmonize. And with that background, let's jump into our list of four ways to improve your discussions. Number one on the list, use multiple due dates in Harmonize to avoid the last minute flood of submissions. This is one of the most frequent problems with discussions that we hear about from instructors and our multiple due date feature is a highly effective solution. Let's take a closer look. So as you can see, I've logged into my Harmonize demo course in Canvas um, and I've navigated to our week one discussion, the topic of which is what makes this bridge iconic. And right from the start, I can see this topic is organized into three distinct requirements, an initial post due Sunday, an initial comment on post due Tuesday, and a subsequent comment due the following Friday. And as you can see, each one of these milestones not only comes with its own due date, but a customizable number of points that the instructor can assign. If students um, perform each of these milestones on time, they can uh, automatically uh, receive the points um, noted here, but instructors always have the opportunity to adjust that if they wish. So by creating multiple due dates for this discussion assignment, we're avoiding that last minute rush of submissions just before the deadline, and we're really creating space by which the discussion can take shape over the course of a week or however long the instructor would like. And in case you are wondering, if these milestones map to the Canvas to-do list for students so they're automatically reminded, the answer is yes. So it really helps students never miss a deadline. All right, tip number two for improving online discussions is to make learning social with mobile-friendly tools that look like the apps your students are actually using every day. Harmonize accomplishes this with a card-based social media layout that's designed with a mobile-first approach so students can engage with their classmates anytime, anywhere. Features like at tagging of classmates and instructors also help make learning social. And so back in our demo course, you can see that card-based layout below our assignment instructions with each of the students' posts represented as a card. Uh, we take a thumbnail image from content, any media that the student might have included in their post or their profile image if they didn't include media. We can see um, a description of the post and some engagement metrics. And then it's very easy for us to simply click a card, flip that card over and see the contents of the post itself. Um, at tagging is a great way to engage our fellow classmates and a natural social phenomenon that students will find really, really intuitive. And if I go back to all posts here, I can easily show how well this will scale for a mobile device by simply pinching it in and you can see the system automatically rescales for that mobile display. And that brings us to tip number three. Now students come with a variety of different learning styles and tip number three helps you meet students where they are with the ability to easily incorporate multimedia into discussion posts and comments. Plus, Harmonize features the ability for students and instructors to make annotations on uploaded media, elevating discussions to new heights. Let's take a closer look at this functionality. 
So in Harmonize, it's really easy to add media to our posts and comments. We're back in our discussion now, and I can edit a post that I had already started. Um, I see here I've got three images of this bridge, uh, Sixth Street Downtown Bridge in, in Los Angeles, and I've got another image I want to add. I can simply drag and drop it. That image will upload directly into Harmonize. And as soon as it's uploaded, I have an opportunity to add some alt text. And I can set this as my cover image. And I can publish or republish my post. Now, in addition to easily adding media, images, audio or video to our comments and posts, once that media has been uploaded, it's really easy for students to comment or annotate on their own media or for instructors to annotate on students' media or students to annotate on one another's media. Um, the possibilities for this uh, are really endless. And here's what it looks like. So I've got uh, an image that I'd like to annotate. I chose the annotation button. It opens up a toolbar that shows me all of the different annotation tools I have, arrows, pins, uh, drawing lines or shapes. If I choose a pin, I can select a color. I'm going to drop this pin on the background here. And so I want it to be red. Then I can simply type my comment into the box here. This bridge replaces the original Sixth Street Viaduct built in 1932, which was featured in the car race in Greece. And I can simply scroll down and publish that annotation. So by now you've eliminated the last minute submissions by setting multiple due dates for your discussions. You've made learning more social with a mobile friendly interface, and you've boosted engagement by making it easy for students to incorporate multimedia into their posts and comments. Now you may be asking yourself, what is Harmonize doing to save instructors time? And that brings us to our fourth and final tip to improve discussions. Automate plagiarism detection in your discussions and have a streamlined discussion grading experience with Harmonize. Let's take a closer look at those. So back here in our demo course, once a discussion assignment due date is complete, and we're finished with our final requirement, it makes it really easy for instructors to use our speed grader integration to grade these discussions. We'll see the discussion post and any comments from the student on the left-hand side. We'll also see the originality score from whichever uh, plagiarism detection tool we have turned on in our account. Um, and clicking the link here would take us directly into the report for this post. When we look at the milestones, we can see that we do have participation auto grading turned on, which means that Laverne was automatically given five points for posting on time, three points for posting uh, comment on time, but didn't get any points for missing the deadline uh, for the second comment. Now, if she had posted late, we could always give partial credit, or we could adjust the score overall because we felt like she went over and above in other elements of her posts or comments. But as of now, 80% will be the grade that's sent to the Canvas gradebook. In addition, if we wanted to use rubric grading, we do integrate with the Canvas rubrics. Clicking view rubric will show us this rubric. We can always make this bigger add comments, and then submit our grade. So you can see grading discussions has really never been easier um, than with this interface that Harmonize provides. And I know I've mentioned it uh, throughout, but it warrants special mention here. Harmonize offers seamless integration with Canvas, as well as plagiarism detection tools, such as Turnitin, Original, and Unicheck. And we include these integrations with every single license. If you're ready to boost student engagement and empower students to reach their full learning potential, we'd like to invite your institution to try Harmonize free. Just go to harmonizelearning.com slash pilot to learn more and sign up. Thanks for listening.